Hey everyone and welcome to another Roberts Production Studios video tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to create a fantastic glowing text in Photoshop. In this tutorial you will learn how to create a very cool glowing effect that looks amazing when used with text. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to, uh, we're going to create a new document. We're going to go to new uh, file, new. We're going to set the width at 800 and the height at 800 as well. Make sure the background contents is set to white. Click OK. Now we're going to go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise, and we're going to choose the settings for the amount. We're going to set 400%. For the distribution, we're going to keep it at uniform. And make sure the monochromatic check box is not checked. Click OK. Now we're going to go to Filter, Blur, Radio Blur, and we're going to choose the settings for the amount of the radio blur to 100. We're going to set the blur method to zoom and the quality at good. Click OK. We're going to repeat this effect, so we're going to hit Control F or Command F if you're on a Mac. We're going to go to Filter, Stylize, and Glowing Edges. For the edge width, we are going to set to, for the edge brightness, 17, and for the smoothness, 5. Click OK. Our image looks rather rough now, so we're going to go to Filter, Blur, Radial Blur, and we're going to keep the settings the same and just hit OK. Now it's smooth. We're going to copy our background image by simply hitting Control J or Command J on the Mac. Now we will have two layers. One is named Layer 1 and another is our background. Change the blending mode of our Layer 1 to Screen. So let's make sure it's selected and change the blending mode to Screen. Now we're going to hit Control E to merge down our layer 1 with the background. Control E or Command E on the Mac. We're going to right click on the horizontal type tool and we're going to choose horizontal type mask tool. Before we use the text tool we're going to create a new layer named layer 1. Now we can use the text tool, type in our sample text, hit Control to line it up to where we want it and hit enter. Now we are going to choose the rectangular marquee tool. We're going to click on the subtraction from selection option and set the feather to 30 pixels. Now we're going to drag a selection towards the middle of the text just like this. And uh, let me control Z that I kind of just like that. Now you can see the upper part is being selected. We're going to select the gradient tool. We're going to use the spectrum uh, spectrum gradient. Click OK. And we're going to select the radial gradient from the option. So right here, the radial gradient. Now we're going to draw a line from the top left of our text to the bottom right. And now we get that. We're going to hit Control D to deselect everything or Command D on the Mac. And now we're going to add some effects to our text. So we're going to double click on the layer 1 to open up the layer style dialog box. We're going to use these settings. We're going to select a drop shadow. Leave everything normal, just how it is, unless you have to change some of these settings. We're going to select an outer glow and we're gonna keep those settings as well and we're gonna click OK there is our finished text it's a kinda cool looking text and uh, it really stands out you could use this for many different projects um, and uh, that's all so uh, if you're on YouTube, 
please rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, hopefully this helped. We've also came out with our new website, rpstudios.web44.net. We've created a new layout, and now uh, we got all of the latest tutorials that are coming up, and this is pretty much like our blog. We have our photo gallery, our recent photos, YouTube videos, our recent YouTube videos, games, and uh, much more. We're going to be including our After Effects tutorials and our Photoshop tutorials, and uh, I think I might try to go into creating the tutorials for Adobe Fireworks and Adobe Flash CS3. I've also wanted to create some tutorials of uh, Sony Vegas Pro 8 and uh, see what we can do from there. Hopefully this tutorial helped. I'm Robert from Robert's Production Studios. Thank you for watching. Take care.